So I'm now here at the Hilton Osaka. Uh, we have a delegation from the Freeman Spogli Institute in Japan to talk about the new strategic situation that's emerged, especially since the Japanese government announced the doubling of its defense budget, which is a really major uh, change uh, that will affect the geopolitics of this region. This is my colleague, <laughs> Kyo. <Hi. laughs> this is Ariana. Hey, Ariana. Hi. I think they are. I think they are. Yeah. And even Japanese diplomats to make them pro China or at least remain neutral. I'm back in California now after a very successful trip to Japan. Uh, I went with a delegation from the Freeman Spogli Institute for International Studies that included uh, Kyotaro uh, Tsutsui, the director of FSI's Japan program, my colleague Larry Diamond, a globally renowned democracy expert, and Oriana Mastro, uh, who is uh, in our security studies program and is also a reserve intelligence officer in the U.S. Air Force who has written extensively on the possibilities for a uh, Chinese invasion of Taiwan. So the Japanese government uh, announced when uh, Prime Minister Kishida met with Joe Biden on January 13th a doubling of their defense budget from 1% to 2% of GDP. This is a huge change for a country that has shied away from investment in uh, military affairs. It's comparable to the German Zeitenwende, which was announced after the uh, Russian invasion of Ukraine last year. And the question really is, what does this mean concretely in terms of Japanese willingness to act, especially beyond its own borders uh, in a security scenario involving China. In our view, a war over Taiwan in East Asia between the United States and China will be an utter disaster. The consequences of this, economic, political, strategic, will be uh, uh, gigantic. Uh, and we need to do everything we can to prevent this kind of war from happening. But we also believe that the way that you prevent this kind of war is to deter it, and that means preparing for the possibility of needing to help the Taiwanese defend themselves in the event of a contingency and letting the Chinese know ahead of time that this will happen so that they will think twice before undertaking such, a, uh, such an action. So we don't know many things about what the meaning of this Japanese shift in defense policy means in terms of their active engagement. They host a lot of American forces uh, on bases on their soil, uh, and that was what we wanted to talk to them about. You can read more about our specific discussions if you go to the blog post that I wrote uh, about this on Frankly Fukuyama, my blog uh, site on the American Purpose website. Uh, you can find a link to this article at the bottom of this screen. So thank you very much for listening. <laughs>